So now we have a hole. Okay? Instead of this thing that was going up, we have a hole. Say this thing is um, <coughs> uh, there's a hole that has been um, bored there. So now, when you look at the front, okay, when you look at the top, first of all, the top will look just like this, right? Listen, the top will look just like this. And then the front will have. Um, <coughs> So the front will have the same view here, but how are we going to show this hole that is here? How are we going to show that this is the hole and uh, not the cylinder that was going up like that? So we draw dotted lines to show, we call them, we call, we call them uh, hidden lines, right? No dotted lines. We call uh, these lines hidden lines to show that there is a hole inside here, but it can, we cannot see it here because uh, it's hidden there so we, we use hidden details we use hidden details like that show that there is a through hole from this point to that point so if the hole was not a through or maybe it was ending somewhere there these lines we should have uh, ended here so for example we can even have a situation like this where the hole is not a true hole, it's just ending somewhere on the middle there. And it will just go up to that point. But we assume it's a through hole there. Meaning it will go as far as uh, the bottom edge there. <clears throat> For this one, it's the same. Then you have uh, shown that um, it's um, it's a through hole there. Obviously, we know that this distance here is the diameter, right, of uh, this circle here. So the diameter as well as the diameter there. So, for example, uh, let's 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 take for instance. Instead of a circle, we have. Instead of a circle, we have that. Okay, so let's assume that this is a this is a, a square that has got the uh, length of sides equal to the diameter. Okay, equal to the diameter of this circle. So for this square, meaning the distance from this point to that point will be the distance from that point to that point, right? Which is just the same. So this one will be like this, this one will be like this, but when you look at it from the top, that is what you are going to find now, the square part. But this distance should be the same as that distance, and this distance should be the same as that distance there. You get the concept? So the same applies even for something like this, right? So even for something like this, here, here it will look just like that, right? But for this one, it will go up. It will go up. <clears throat> so for something like this, and the cylinder, you find that the front and the end will be just the same, right? But the top is where you're going to tell, say, it is a cylinder or maybe it's a cube, like that. Any questions? Uh, so you can have something like this, say. Uh -huh. uh, something like that, huh? Even here. So me, maybe this one is a through hole. Maybe from this point, just up to up to this base here, it doesn't protrude. So it's just the same. Here, 
we are going to have that and then hmm, Listen. Mm. Unless we have uh, any other questions. So, in the next lesson, we are going to look at how we present now the work on the paper. How we present the work on the paper and then do a lot of assignments now. <laughs> <laughs> do a lot of so, we're going to look at uh, different types. We have different types of projection. We have what we call first angle and uh, third angle projection. First angle, third angle projection. Yes, so in the next lesson, we will cover all those, and then the next one, maybe that other week, that is when we can look at um, what to consider when converting back. Yes, from this to that, very simple principles. Otherwise, there's nothing really uh, difficult about this because, for example, we'll give you say 10 here, 20 there and uh, maybe seven there, right? We'll give you measurements like this. Obviously, from these, you are able to see, if you are dealing with the front view, then the distance from this point to that point is 20, right? Yes, the distance from this point to that point, seven, just like that. So 20, seven, like that, you create that. You, you just draw, no one draws. But even a very, very uh, complicated, right? Huh? Just draw, pop up. Mm -hmm. You come here, you do the same. Okay, 10, and you know that the height comes from that. You draw. Mm. Here we say, okay, this is a square. Normally, they just do this. So you put that arrow here, a square over five. five. Hey, that's a square, guy. Right? <laughs> square of five so you know that uh, this thing is like that here they will put it so you have to know these symbols for example maybe uh diameter four like that meaning the radius is e two one eh? uh -huh. diameter four like so uh. and then here they will give you the height say six so everything there has been given. What is remaining is just for you to come up with eh? those there. Okay.